This next question comes <laughs> from Madison. And hey, y'all. My name is Madison, but my students know me as Miss G. Um, I'm a high school history teacher. And the question that I have is, so I'm only 24 years old, and I'm wondering if it is too early for me to start thinking about, like, my will and estate planning. Thank you. Once again, I love Madison, Miss G, her glasses, her hair, everything is fantastic. Yeah, on, that's on point. Yeah. Do you think that it's important for teachers right now to yes. do, and, and why? Is well, that? what was always important, so they were, they were always at risk of something happening to them. Now with COVID in particular, in the way that they are like a social cross-section. Now every day you have a class of 25 kids, so now you have those 25 kids who met with their 25 families and their contacts. Right. And so now you've literally created a spider petri web. dish, a spider yeah, web, a one of those contract tracing <laughs> nightmare. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. exactly like one of those CSI or what, and what, <laughs> when you draw the <laughs> web with the suspects and things. Jimmy's uncle had COVID, and, and the, now you've made yeah. this poor person the middle part. Yep. Um, I mean, teachers have died of COVID. Even elementary school teachers. I remember one in South Carolina recently who died from COVID nineteen. Especially older teachers or people who are in higher risk groups should run to get their wills done. But even if you're a 24 year old, um, get it done because partly because of COVID. If it's not COVID, it'll be something else. Yeah. Um, and if you don't make plans, someone will plan for you. For someone like her age, if she's single, whatever, it's it's going to be very easy. So the the barrier to entry is very low. So it's good to kind of have that in place so that you have the peace of mind knowing that it's done. One thing that you said, Stephen, is that everyone has a plan even if they don't know it, right? Yes. And we've talked about that before. So can you explain what that means a little bit? Oh yeah, so every state has a plan for what happens to your stuff when you die um, without a will or without any planning. Um, but in most parts, it's distributing among family members. Um, so if you have like a long-term partner or anything like that you're not married to, they're out friends are out anyone you care about is out unless they happen to be your child spouse parent or sibling the way you can decide what happens is by getting a plan done right so right so so basically if you don't have a plan and you're super young and you do pass away which would be awful in a tragedy um your stuff would kind of go to familial connections and the court yeah, would kind of decide exactly and i know a lot of people who don't have kids or whatever, no go to their parents and they think their parents are assholes. They don't want to, if, if you think that, then you want to do something different. As a former teacher, um, I know that even in the best of times, teaching can be very stressful. And so right now with the pandemic, we want to make sure that all the teachers who listen to us have access to the estate planning documents that they need to feel safe. And so uh, we're going to work with you to find a price point that works for you. Um, we are trying to help as many teachers as possible, especially in the Atlanta area. And so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about wills, trusts, or estate planning, post a comment. We would love to help you. Um, we don't just offer wills and trusts, though. We offer a lot of other stuff. James, you want to talk about it? Yeah, like Noah said, it's, it's more than just wills. We also do things like advanced health care directives, HIPAA waivers for your loved ones, and, and other things that you can do as far as power of attorney to make sure that if something does happen, um, people are going to be able to help you out. So if you're not sure if it's something that we can help you with, give us a call or reach out. Uh, we really want to help and we'll do our best to do what we can. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know any teachers that you think could benefit from this, uh, post their, tag them in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.